My dental procedure videos are by far my most popular, accounting for over 33 million of my views on the channel. Here's how I film them. This is a Global A6 dental microscope. It is the corner piece of my dental movie making rig. It has six modes of magnification, ranging from 2x to 19x power. Equipped with a super bright LED, the Global takes vision to the next level. However, the scope itself is just a set of optics and a light. It actually has no inherent ability to record any video at all. That's where the Canon R3 comes in. The first non-cinema Canon camera to skip the half hour record limit, the R3 is unbelievable when paired with the Global A6 for longer procedures. This is an upgrade though. Before I got the R3, I used a Sony A7. When you watch my videos, you see exactly what I see as the dentist. Achieving that type of footage is the tricky part. I want the R3 to see exactly what I see through the scope. In order to do that, we need to find a way to connect the camera to the microscope. I use a beam splitter and full frame photo tube adapter to ensure the light illuminating the tooth I'm working on reaches both my eyes and the camera sensor. A simple adapter connects the R3 to the other end of the photo tube adapter. I hook up an HDMI cable from the camera to an external monitor to ensure what I see matches the screen. If the focus doesn't match, I adjust the scope's inclinable binoculars. The last piece of the puzzle is to power the camera. Battery life will only get you so far, so I power the R3 with a 2018 61 watt MacBook Pro charger. A USB-C cord runs from the camera up into the arm where a built-in power source is housed. Voila, constant power. Then, it's just a matter of hitting record and doing the procedure under the scope. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. Working with the scope is tricky and training can shorten your learning curve. If you're in central or southern Alberta and would like some in-office training, let's get in touch. Thanks for watching.